So uh, if, if you know me in the slightest, you may know that I'm a big fan of this sitcom, Full House. Uh, kind of a, a, I don't know, guilty pleasure of mine. But I, I do think it's a legit good show. Like, for what it is, it's a good show. Um, so I just had to. I had to catch this uh, unauthorized, lifetime, uh, Full House story movie. Um, I, I just, curiosity got the best of me. So I have a really quick review of it here. I mean, there's really not too much to say about it. Um, in typical lifetime fashion, you can kind of tell it's, it's not like the most highest uh, production value type of story. Uh, not the biggest actors or anything. It's all no names, kind of like filling in the roles of, of the Full House cast, you know, like uh, uh, Bob Saget, Dave Coulier, John Stamos, the Olsen twins, uh, what have you. Um, pretty stale acting, things like that, you know, for what it is. I mean, they, they give it their best effort uh, with what they have to work with. Um, and you can kind of expect, kind of, uh, kind of expect a, like a scandalous kind of uh, behind the scenes uh, uh, tell all basically. But it's, I don't think this uh, uh, movie is particularly scandalous or anything like that. Um, not like to some degrees that you may see on, on others. Like I think I didn't catch the, the, uh, the Saved by the Bell one, but that one was probably nuts. Um, everyone hated Screech. Um, but anyway, uh, this one, I mean, it's it's pretty just kind of matter of fact going through kind of the, the story of how the, the show was made. And it, it does kind of go through certain kind of plot lines. Like the thing about this this whole movie is there's so many like kind of hints at like this is going to become part of the story or hints that this is like a a, a big issue that's going to come up but then it doesn't really go anywhere like we get kind of stuff you know between uh uh, uh the kind of uh, initial uh hesitance to do this show because it is kind of a, a weird uh uh thing to think of like that we have this comic like Bob Saget, who who was before doing this 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 family friendly show, was a very dirty comic. You know, very extremely dirty. Look, if you've seen his stuff, you know how dirty he is. And so they they play off that the most. But then there's stuff, you know, like the uh, the Olsen twins wanting more money and the Olsen twins becoming more successful and you know certain marriages, certain deaths, all, all the kind of usual things. But nothing too hugely scandalous, which is kind of you know. I don't know, maybe refreshing that they didn't want to drag everything through the through the mud or anything like that. Like maybe the people who made this actually did like Full House and actually thought there was a story to tell here, and and there is kind of a story to tell here. Um, what is kind of funny, like keeping in mind, you know, Bob Saget very dirty, and this is like an, an era, like in in the late '80s, where every stand-up comic was getting a. a uh, sitcom deal like they even mentioned in the movie like oh Roseanne Tim Allen they're all getting their stuff when, when's my big break gonna come things like that and how the the really weird thing like there's the one kind of crucial uh, uh, scene in the movie uh, where Jeff Franklin the creator producer of the show uh, he, he pitches this idea for something new something edgy something you know that we've never quite seen before called uh, House of Comics where you know it's all about three comedians living together and you know all the wacky stuff that happens then in like a, a matter of seconds <laughs> the studio heads kind of like completely revitalize that idea to make it let's make it more like the cosby's you know family friendly that kind of stuff and so that becomes full house and that is absolutely true the weird thing the weirdest thing about this show is like every single like key key story i'm like i i knew this i knew this i knew this so whatever that's me but the ultimate irony is uh, of well at least what this movie kind of uh uh, results in is that uh, it, it went through its run, huge success, of course, um, but ultimately the studio decided to uh, cancel it because it wasn't edgy enough. So they, you know, they show like a, a, a full house uh, a banner being taken down and put up with a Seinfeld banner, which is kind of, I don't know, the ultimate irony. But what kind of arose through all of this was that in like a very rare instance when you think about it when it comes to tv movies hollywood um amidst all of this this very real kind of fake family develops and they're all there for each other and it's it's actually kind of sweet you know in the cheesiest lifetime possible kind of way but it's true you know that they all you know do get along in real life which you don't really see that too much you know you always hear about these types of shows like oh i fucking hated that guy you know whatever um 
but it's true. The Full House cast has, you know, remained friends for years and years, except for maybe the Olsons or whatever. But, like, I'm always on, like, Instagram, like, holy shit, Bob Sagan and John Stamos are hanging out. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, so, I mean, for what the movie's worth, I mean, for what it is, I think if you like Full House, give it a watch. If you have no interest in Full House whatsoever, it, probably every little, like, in-joke, every little kind of section of, of, of the movie is going to, go completely over your head so why are you wasting your time um but i enjoyed it as a full house fan uh i guess you can add this to a guilty pleasure list too so i give it a thumbs up worth worth checking out if, if you like full house so that's my amazing review of full house the unauthorized story from lifetime movies so way to go lifetime uh, you got another winner on your hand so that's my review if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh comment rate subscribe all that good stuff and until next time I'll see you later. You got it, dude.